and I'm with the Invasive Species Council of Metro Vancouver and today I'm going to be talking about the three different species of blackberry that are found in the lower mainland. So this one right in front of me is Himalayan blackberry which is the most commonly found one and it is invasive. We also have evergreen blackberry also known as cutleaf blackberry which is another invasive and I'll be showing that one later on and trailing blackberry is the third species and that is the native species to the lower mainland. This is Himalayan blackberry and it's growing in this arch shape. It starts growing from seed and it will grow tall and once it reaches a certain height and a certain weight it's going to bend over like this and the, the end part is actually going to root itself into the ground and so when it grows it kind of grows in this arching um, structure. This is new growth of Himalayan blackberry and it's actually coming off of a stem over here. So I have my gloves on because Himalayan blackberry has these thorns that are very pokey and they actually have um, a toxin in them so it really hurts when you get poked by them. Himalayan blackberry forms dense thickets of live and dead canes which degrade the quality of riparian habitats as well as forest edges and it can obstruct roads, walkways and signage. These dense blackberry patches can prevent the establishment of native vegetation. Although blackberry shrubs offer limited food, nesting sites and wildlife cover, it is poorer quality habitat than native shrub species and results in decreased biodiversity. The bloom period of Himalayan blackberry does not overlap with the foraging periods of all pollinators, so a diversity of species that benefit from the nectar and pollen is limited. Native plants can provide nectar and pollen to a larger diversity of species. This is evergreen blackberry, also known as cutleaf blackberry because of the deep cuts it appears to have. This leaf is very serrated and it has the similar composition to Himalayan blackberry. It has the five leaflets on each leaf and each of these leaf leaflets are deeply serrated. Evergreen blackberry is pretty easy to distinguish from the other two blackberry species found in the lower mainland but another tip that you could look at other than the leaves are the stems so the stems you can see are quite purple red in color and the thorns have almost they're white tipped The one native species of blackberry that we have in the lower mainland is trailing blackberry. So it's right over here, it has these white flowers that are starting to bloom and it does have edible berries. It grows very similarly to Himalayan blackberry as it creates these trailing vines that are more ground covering. They don't really grow up and create bushes like Himalayan, it's kind of more of a ground covering plant as you can see all around here and it creates it roots down once it touches the ground so you can see here this one has rooted down and it's created a new trailing stem that's gonna do the same thing over and over again to ID the the trailing blackberry it has three leaflets per leaf and they're quite small. They don't get much larger than this one over here. The leaves are quite serrated and they're fuzzy and they do have thorns along the stem, but they're very tiny and they're reddish in color. For more information on management of Himalayan blackberry, you can check out the Best Management Practices Guide for Himalayan blackberry in Metro Vancouver in the link below. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel.
Follow us on social media and visit www.iscmv.ca for more information.